Good morning, Berean. Today is October 7th, 2024. We are on White Belt Schedule, and this is Berean Daily. admissions officer from Witter College will be in the student quad today at lunch. Come learn about their academics, student life, and the application process. Eagles, come join the Berean community for a pancake breakfast to kick off the homecoming game. The breakfast will take place in the gym and go from 10.30 to 12 p.m. leading up to the homecoming game. This is a great time of fellowship with other Berean families and alums while enjoying a hot pancake breakfast and fun family festivities. Everyone is welcome. Alumni receive free admission to both the breakfast and the game. Be sure to talk to your parents to make sure your family gets your tickets in advance because ticket sales close this Friday. Calling all 49ers fans, the BCHS boys football team is raffling off two tickets to the Niners Rams game on December 12th. These tickets are on the lower level adjacent to the club seats and include unlimited free food and beverages. All you need to do to enter the raffle is scan the QR code on the posters throughout campus or visit the link posted on our football and athletic social media account. You can purchase as, as many $20 raffle tickets online as you want. The winner will be announced at homecoming halftime show. Every set that is raised for this raffle is being donated to Susan G. Komen in order to help support the fight against breast cancer. And buy your tickets now to support the cause and earn your chance to cheer on the Niners at the Levi Stadium. Raffle ticket sales close on October 17th. Interested in learning how to receive aid to help pay for college? There's a live financial aid webinar tomorrow night about the, navigating the FAFSA application from our experts at College Aid Pro. This webinar is focused on on information for the senior class, but all grade levels and their families are welcome to attend. Register online through the link provided in the weekly college and career updates. Eagles table signups for homecoming are today and tomorrow at lunch. Juniors and seniors are permitted to sign up today, while freshmen and sophomores are permitted to sign up tomorrow. Come straight to the table sign up location located in the quad at lunch. Come prepared to sign up to sit in groups of 10. Remember, you must be present to sign yourself up. Students who are bringing a non Berean guest are permitted to to sign up their guests. Please reach out to Mrs. Andruco with any questions or concerns. Anyone interested in wrestling this year, please come to the wrestling meeting this Thursday, October 10th, during lunch in room D1. A short overview of the season will be discussed, as well as preseason workouts and events. Any girls interested in playing soccer this year, there will be a meeting today at lunch in room E2. That's it for analysis, Brian. I'm Rossi. I'm Ethan. And I'm Isla. I'm JD, and this is Brian Daily. Well, good morning, Berean, and welcome to week nine of school. Today is October 7th, 2024, and if you remember, it is the one-year anniversary of the attack on Israel from Gaza when over 1,200 civilians were killed and over 250 were kidnapped. Horrible day in history that we remember. And we know that subsequently a war began with Israel and its neighbors, both in the north and in Gaza and now in Iran. The question is, what does God think about these wars? We know God is involved in the history of Israel. And so I want to look back in scripture and to see a text that might in Inform us how to think about these things. The text comes to us from the book of Joshua, chapter 5, verses 13 through 15, where we read the following. When Joshua was by Jericho, he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a man was standing before him with his drawn sword in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? And he said, No, but I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Now I have come. Very, very interesting question. It may be a parallel in the modern world. Here it is, the conquest. Israel is about to take the promised land after 40 years of wandering and they are at the gates of Jericho. And here Joshua sees this angel, this soldier with his sword out. And he asks him the question, are you on our side or are you on their side? And this commander of the Lord's army says, neither. Now, subsequently, we read that Joshua falls down and worships this figure. And so we know that this is a picture of God as a man, maybe even a pre-incarnate person of Jesus Christ on earth. And so he says, neither. Question he asks is, are you on my side? And God says, are you on my side? 
And I think that's the question for the armies of the world. It's the question for Israel. It's the question for Iran. It's the question to all peoples, all nations of the earth is, are you on God's side? And that is the question for us personally. Are you on God's side? Have you repented? Have you trusted in Christ? Are you a citizen of the kingdom of heaven? Are you an ambassador of heaven here on earth. I pray that you are, folks, and that is the mission that we have at our school, and that is the mission we have as Christians, right? To be about being the people of God here in this world right now, that we are on his side, and he is our king, and in this passage, he is our commander and chief. Pray that you have a great week, my friends. Mm -hmm.